so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to select a feature data in QGIS so let's get started so now let's go ahead and explore our selection tool in QGIS so first let me select the layer called land use so here you can able to visualize in the table of content in the layer section we have two different layers one layer here here represents our land use layer and the second layer here represents our boundary layer so now let me select the layer called land use now let me head to selection tool so here you can able to visualize this is our selection tool in QGIS a select feature by an area or a single click so now let me select this tool so now you can able to visualize the, cur the cursor of our mouse it's changed so you can visualize there is a square like symbol which represents our selection tool so now let me select a feature from our land use layer so you can visualize here our land use layer here represented in green color which is highlighted in our layer section so now let me select this particular land use so now when I select this particular land use feature it gets highlighted in yellow color and similarly let me select another land use feature so now it gets highlighted so likewise we're gonna select each of these different feature it's gonna get selected and highlighted in yellow color so in this way you can able to select a one feature at a time so let's say if you want to select more than one feature at the time so now suppose if you want to select the multiple features at the time all you have to do is press the control button in your keyboard and hold the control button and select the different features you want to select so in this way you can select the multiple features at the time so using your control button in your keyboard so now you can visualize it I have selected a multiple features from our land use layer so you can clearly able to visualize that all the different features that are selected are gets highlighted in yellow color so now suppose we want to unselect all the different features so you have just click outside this feature area so now I'm gonna click in this area so now all the selected features get unselected to select back you have to just hold your control uh, button in your keyboard and just select the features so now let's head to our selection tool so here there is an option a down arrow symbol that is uh, in our select tool click that so in this way you can select the multiple select features so first we have seen the select feature option so there is a second option called select feature by polygon and third a select feature by a free hand and fourth a select feature by a radius so now let us take a look by select feature by a polygon let me uh, select that I have selected a select feature by polygon so now let us draw a polygon to select the features of our interest so suppose we want to select this particular feature in this land use layer all you have to do is just draw a polygon around it so in this way I can able to select the polygons of my choice but just by drawing a polygon so now I have drawn a polygon around this uh, my features that are required for me to select this so I'm gonna select this particular features so after drawing a polygon you make sure that you click right click on your mouse so now you can able to visualize all the features uh, gets ha selected here now let's head back to our selection tool and head let's head back to our uh, that is select feature by freehand now let me uh, unselect these features So now I have unselected the features. Now let us head back to our selection tool and now select a feature by freehand. So I have selected by a feature by freehand. So now let us uh, copy this particular uh, land use features. So you're gonna uh, use by a freehand method. So it's gonna draw a, like a pencil. So just have to uh, draw like a pencil around your features of your choice and just right click. So now if we can able to visualize we have uh, drawn a freehand method of way of selecting our features now click uh, left click in your mouse now the features gets highlighted and selected which is represented in yellow color so the freehand uh, method is actually a two-step process so let me unselect this particular area yeah unselected it so now uh, just uh, the freehand method of selecting all you have to do is just click upon place of any point of your interest and just draw drawing all the features you want to select and after that you have selected your features of choice just right click the mouse so it gets highlighted 
So now let us head to our selection tool and let us explore our select feature by radius. So now I have selected a select feature by radius. So now uh, it, is a, it is a kind of two step process like the previous method. Just uh, one click, it's gonna introduce our radius. So here you can able to visualize there is a selection radius. So in this way you can select the features using the radius option in our selection tool. So you can choose the radius and you can just select those features inside those free uh, inside those radius and uh, and click the right click in uh, mouse so it's gonna select all the features inside the radius so now to do uh, deselect the selected features you have to use this tool called uh, deselect features from all layers so now you can visualize we have deselected all the features so now let us explore a few more things in our selection tool so for that let us head to this uh, selection tool again and select features now let us select by select features so now i'm going to select the one of the features from our land use layer so now we have selected this particular feature and we're going to head and explore the few different options that is available in this part of our tool so that is selected features using an expression so from this tool we're going to click this down arrow button so in that we're going to select this particular option called invert feature selection so now you can able to visualize before we have selected only one features and now except this one feature all other features are yet uh, selected so this particular tool what is that is it gonna be gonna select one particular feature and except that it's gonna select all the all the all the features available in this layer so for that we're gonna use this tool called invert feature selection so now let me show you one more time so you're gonna deselect all the features so now we're gonna select uh, one particular feature so I have selected this particular feature from land use and we're gonna head to this particular option called select uh, features so that is uh, we're gonna select features and that in that we're gonna select the invert feature selection so we're gonna select this particular uh, option called invert feature selection so now you can visualize it so except this particular feature all of the features in land use layers got it gets uh, selected so now let us visualize the other option that is available. So there is an option called select all features. So now let me click that. So now you can visualize that all the features are in the land use which get selected. So now let me deselect this. So now let us head towards, uh, head towards the select feature by value. So before that let me show the attributes of our land use layer. So, uh, so I have right clicked on land use layer and we're going to select open attribute table. So here you can able to visualize our attribute table of our land use layer. So here there is an object ID which has different numbers represented here. And we have OSM ID name and that is name represented here. And similarly the type that is represented as a residential, commercial and industrial and military. So there is a different land use that is available in our study region that is represented as residential, commercial, military and retail and uh, yeah, we have grass, railways. These are the different land use in this study region. So now let me close this attribute table. Now let's head back to our selection tool. So in that we're gonna select select features by value. So now we can uh, able to view that in the attribute table we have visualized this option, this uh, object ID, OSM ID, name and table in our attribute table of land use layer. So in this selection tool, uh, we're going to head to this object ID that is available. We're going to select this particular option called exclude field field. Uh, and we in that we're going to select less than and we have selected less than. So I'm going to type a number called that is 5000. So we're going to select all the feature that is less than 5000. So now click this option called select features. So now we can able to we are visualized in this part of the section all the object IDs that is less than 5000 are get selected so all the different uh, land use features by the, uh, which uh, who its object IDs that is less than 5000 are get selected and highlighted in yellow color and similarly you can try out for the different fields and now let me make one more thing so let me select go to the exclude field field and in that we're gonna select greater that is uh, greater than so we're gonna select greater than greater than 5000 so now let me uh, click this option called select features. So now it's going to select the object IDs that is greater than 5000. Going to select all the features that is that has an object ID greater than 5000. 
So here you can visualize all the different uh, LAN features that is available here. Its object ID is greater than 5000 uh, gets selected and highlighted in yellow color. So likewise, you have many other options like you can select uh, equals to, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, between, not between, missing and is not missing. So you can likewise, you can select a different option that is available in this part of the section in the land use where uh, you can able to explore just by using select feature by value. So now let me close this and let me deselect. Now let us head back to another tool that is select feature by expression. So now let me click that. So this is our select feature by expression, select by uh, expression. So now let us head towards our uh, fields and values. So uh, we can visualize in our attribute table. These are the different fields that is available in our land use, their object ID, OSM ID, name and types. So in that we're going to select this object ID. So now let us double click on this option called object ID. So which gets highlighted here in the expression section. So we're going to select this option called all Unix. So now we're going to give some expressions. So here we're going to select our less than symbol. So in from our keyboard, we're going to select less than symbol. So now have uh, entered our less than symbol. I'm going to enter the number 5000. So we're going to select all the features that is uh, less than 5000 in the object ID which get, will get selected. So I have entered my uh, object ID number 5000. So now let us click this option. Let me uh, move this. So now let me select features. So now we can able to visualize here the object IDs that is less than 5000 in our land use layer. All the features are get selected. Using this uh, select by expression tool in our select feature options that is available here. Select feature by expression. So likewise, going to enter another number, going to enter as 20,000. So now I have entered as 20,000, we're going to select uh, all the features object ID lesser than 20,000 will get selected. So now let me click select features. So now we can visualize it. So now more features are get selected and highlighted in, in yellow color. So in this way, you can able to select the different features by using select by expression. So now let me close this. So in this video, I have shown you how to select a features from a land use layer. So similarly, you can apply this technique to all of the features and also I have explored to all the different uh, selection tool that is available in our QGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.